Hey guys, uh, it's Todd. I just want to make a quick video talking about this rooster. I'm not much of a bragger. I don't like bragging. I don't like listening to other people brag, but I'm just really proud of this bird. I, I'm not, you know, I'm not bragging on him. I just want to make a video and show him. He is a pure Phil Morris butcher. He's about 10 months old and he is my future uh, butcher brood stock. The butchers that I produce in the future is supposed to be out of this rooster right here. Uh, he's just old fashioned Phil Morris. The guy I got him from, they've had this bloodline for about 50 years. And so I'm just really excited. I won't say the person's name because I didn't ask him if I could talk about him on YouTube. They're kind of old school, so I don't I don't want to just put that out there without getting their permission first. But uh, like I was saying, they've had this bloodline for about 50 years. Uh, they've liked it, done good with it in the past. Uh, so I'm just like super happy to get him. I've just got him right now. I've got other pure butcher hens, but they're a different butcher bloodline. He's the only one of this particular family that I got, but I'm supposed to go back and uh, talk to the guy. And, you know, I've done put the word out about getting a hen. I just got to get the ball rolling on it. Uh, but I was just, you know, so happy to have him. I just want to show him off, let y'all look at him. And uh, I want to know what y'all think about him. You know, you put it in the comments. Do you think he's pure? Maybe you don't think he's pure. Do you like him? Is there something you really like about him or you don't like about him? But, uh, you know, he's got nice legs. He's got a great physical conformation, you know, good bone structure. I, I wish you guys could feel it because this is, this is really what you want a rooster to feel like. Uh, but he's got great legs. He's got a... Nice head. Uh, if you if you look at it, just nice and blood red and puffy under the eyes. That means he's healthy and he, you know popping his head means he feels good. Uh, you know he's in good shape. And uh, another thing that I really like about this rooster is how calm he is. If you if you look at him, he's not acting wild or nervous. He's not a man fighter. Okay, he's about ten months old. He's barely been handled. And uh, I'm guilty in the past of breeding uh, man fighting roosters and breeding some roosters that were kind of wild and nervous. And what I can tell you from talking to other people that's raised chickens longer than me and have more experience than me and from my own personal experience, if you breed man fighting roosters or wild nervous roosters, you will raise man fighters and nervous chickens, okay? They will produce that. If you breed calm, gentle chickens, chickens like this that act like they, you know, they want to be your buddy, they want to hang out with you, uh, you know, sit on your leg while you talk about them and make a YouTube video, then the majority of their offspring are more likely to be this way. Now, it's not a 100% thing, you know, you can't guarantee every one of them is going to be like this, but say if you raise, you know, 10 sons out of him, I would imagine that eight or nine are more likely going to be, you know, have his mentality. But that also depends on the mother, because if she's out of a different bloodline and, uh, you know, her, her family is ill, you know, towards people and are kind of wild, then that could kind of, you know, counteract his calmness. But like I was saying, back to the point, uh, he's a pure Phil Marsh butcher, just old school Phil Marsh. Uh, come from a guy that has had the uh, blood, you know, in his family, on his yard for about 50 years. Uh, you know, they supposedly have done good with him. They got a good reputation. Uh, you know, I like his body. I like his legs. You know, just, I, I like this rooster. This is my idea of a, of a good rooster, mentally and physically. He's got what I like. Uh, I appreciate all you guys that have subscribed to my, you know, channel. I'm working on new video concepts. Uh, I got a new camera. I haven't used it yet, but, you know, I'm in the process of learning how to use it. I'm going to be making more videos in the future. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, all y'all's comments, y'all liking, y'all subscribing. If you haven't subscribed and you're watching this video, please subscribe, like. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the video, what you think about this rooster. And, uh, you know, topics y'all want to talk about, we'll talk about them in the, in the future. I just got to get to where I can pound these videos out more frequently because I know that's a thing I struggle with. I'll make one and it may be a couple weeks before I put up another one. And that's more of just me, uh, you know, I have a real busy work schedule and I'm a father and just I got a lot of things going on. So it's kind of hard for me to get the time to do it. But like I said, I'm not bragging. I'm just proud. Want to show this bird off. I want to know what y'all think about him. Let me know. Uh, he's about 10 months old. Uh, 
my new pure butcher brew cock, uh, and everything, every pure butcher I raise in the future will be out of this rooster, uh, hopefully, unless I get my hands on a, on another one, which I'll let you know if I do. But uh, let me know what you think about him in the comments. I appreciate the views, and the, you know if you subscribe, uh, thank you. I'll talk to you later.